Holy salute, brothers and sisters in Christ. Again, Pastor Gene Williams here. Coming right back to you with another video. One of those unseemly, unseemly untimely things that nobody wants to hear or talk about. Talking about the coronavirus. <clears throat> another wave and another addition to what's about to happen. This is what the Lord says, and a lot of it's common knowledge, but people don't pay attention to common sense or knowledge. He says that health risks are about to spike. This is a coronavirus prophecy, addition. Lack of motion, daily living, jobs, chores, exercise. But he says, what you don't know is that the curve is here and he's doing it, but it will spike back up a, a bit again and go down from July to August. Then the Lord says something is coming in September, much worse in a massive rate than COVID-19. And we will wait to see what he means by that. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but something's coming in September. So we're going to see these health effects start to increase because we have to, you know, be in motion, daily motion. We have to work. We have to exercise. Kids should play. And uh, it's common knowledge that if we're not doing these things, that it's going to take a toll on our bodies. And so that's why we need to be watchful and prayerful and fast and pray and read the Word of God and stay in the Word of God. And we need to uh, just trust in Him and believe Him for health and healing and miracles and strength at this time. I also have another thing I feel like the Lord still wants me to say on about it. So the, the curve he's talking about is he said in Passover, when Passover, when he passed over, he had pulled back a lot of the cases and, and the coronavirus and he healed the land. To a certain extreme. Now what he's saying is coming. Is this about to spike back up for a little bit? And. Uh, you know. People know it's curving. But they don't know it's about to spike back up. But God knows. And what he says. That after that. In July and August. It's going to go to a rapid decrease into September where it'll be almost unheard of but then something's coming after that in September not sure what's going to happen in September and although I want to pray against it and I want to I don't want I don't want it to happen it's going to happen because <clears throat> it's the word of the Lord. Whatever it is, is coming. Now, I believe it's got a lot to do with the pit opening up and these stingers and these wasps found in the book of Revelations coming up out the pit, stinging people. But that's speculation. I can't say for certain. He didn't tell me. But what I will tell you this. Is that in 2020, we have a bat coin, a bat quarter, National Park, and the bat soup in the cave is where the Lord said that the coronavirus stemmed from. And scientists still can't say where it came from. They can't say that it came from animals or people, but God said it came from animals 
in the form of bat soup, which was in China. And we know it came from China. We know it came from Wuhan. We know that they eat bat soup. And the Lord knows that it came from bats and it can be found in animals. And he knows all. Amen. This coin says 2020, the actual virus. <clears throat> that was coined in 2020, the actual virus is COVID-19. Because it stemmed right there in December into January. And they thought that it would be over in March. And here we are still in the midst of it. Uh, it's only speculation. God knows everything. <sighs> holy salute to the Holy Club. I did everything the Lord told me to do and asked of me. It's not always easy saying things that it tells me to say. Actually, I'm sticking my neck out. And uh, people will want me to fail, of course, but God's word will never fail. Let's go to the scripture. Let's go to the scripture before we close. Because I don't like to speak in the name of the Lord without not using scripture. Revelation. Let's go to Revelation 6 and 9. It says, And when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And if you remember and recall, if you go back to before this thing began, many of us know that uh, <clears throat> in China, <clears throat> they were tearing down churches. They were taking up crosses. They were locking up preachers. And uh, it brought this brought this pestilence and judgment on us. Let's also go to another scripture. if you would to Revelation 9 and 10. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I pray this video is to your liking, that it glorifies you, that I'm doing everything you ask of me, God. I ask you to open up your word and fulfill your word to the world and to people, especially edifying the church and Christians. Lord, if there be any strife or contention in my heart, ask it to be removed during this ordeal and time of ministry and using your gifts, God. I ask it in Jesus' name. I love you and humbly pray. Amen and amen. It says in Revelation 9 and 10, it says, And they had tails like unto scorpions, and they were, and there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men for five months. So after September, you count five months. I'm stepping out on a limb and prophesying by faith of these things. And again, again I say, these are the beginning of sorrows. This is not the tribulation by far. 
when the tribulation begins, there will be no question. It has begun. Holy salute. Repent. While the door is still open. Before Noah is closed up into the ark. And Noah can't open the ark door when the Lord closes it. Get on the good gospel ship while there's still time. Time's winding down. Let's repent to God for our sins. Turn to Him and get saved. If we know Him, get to know Him more. If we don't know Him, get to know Him. In Jesus' name.